Well, let's go ahead and master the read option then. What's going on, YouTube? This is Professional Madden Player T. Davidson. Today, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to master the read option, all types of read options here in Madden 22. A lot of guys ask me, you know, how do I do this? How do I do that? What am I looking for? What am I trying to read when I see, when I run these read options? What am I looking for on the defensive line with the linebackers? All those type of things. I'm going to answer all that in this video today. We're going to break down what you should be looking for in the front seven, from the linebacker, from the D-line, even from the secondary occasionally when you run these types of different read options. We're going to be looking at speed options, read options, RPOs, inverted veers, every single types of QB read option type of things you know of in Madden. We're going to break that all down in this video. If you do want the hottest pro player tips, gameplays, ebooks, and much more, make sure to subscribe to the channel on YouTube. I'm bringing you guys all that type of content all season here in Madden 22, as well as on TikTok. I also have coachings and ebooks, which you can check out in the links in the description below. Follow me on social media too Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. Please make sure to like this video and comment down below you guys' favorite read option. What read options have you been running here in Madden 22? I want to know in the comments down below, so let me know. The content grind, the subscribers, you guys have been great here at Madden 22. I appreciate it so much. I won't waste any more of your time here in this intro. Let's get right into today's video. How to master the read option here in Madden 22. What's going on, guys? So today we're looking at how to master the read option here in Madden 22. And, you know, the read option is one of the funnest things you can do in Madden. You know, it can be effective. Sometimes it's not always the most effective. But for me, it's always a blast, a lot of fun running these read option type of plays. Um, today we're in the Baltimore Ravens offensive playbook just because, of course, they have Lamar Jackson. Um, so their playbook is filled with read option type of runs, which I'm going to show you guys here. But a lot of different playbooks in the game have, you know, a variety of read options. Um, most of the play, most of the teams, you know, with a mobile scrambling type of quarterback will have a lot of read options that you can do. And then, of course, like in this video, we're going to go over the basic read option. We're going to go over the speed option. We're going to go over the veer uh, you know, power read type of options as well. So we're going to kind of break them all down. This playbook has plenty of them. So, you know, of course, you know, I like to usually choose my plays by formation, but for the sake of this video, we're going to go over to play type and we're going to go to option. You see here in the Ravens playbook, they actually have 38 different options in this playbook, which is probably, which I don't know for sure, but I would think it is the most in the in the entire game of Madden 22 38 options is a lot but it's good reason of course you know in real life the Ravens love to run that power uh option type of game you know they usually have a fullback out there they sometimes have two tight ends they love to run the option in the real NFL and of course here in Madden it's the most popular uh playbook for options so let's go ahead and kind of jump into we're going to go play type option and first, we'll kind of just break down a simple read option. We'll also do the triple option as well, power option. But let me find a nice little simple read option that I really like here. I need, of course, any of these are viable. Um, for the sake of this video, let's try to find an easy one, maybe out of a shotgun where we have... Pistols are good too as well. Um, let's go with the... Let's go with the Y lead read option. I really love this uh, read option in Madden. I made a video on it last year as well. I'm just gonna have, I'm just gonna have the defense be in random defenses for all these options we're gonna do because it's a simple science for all the plays that we want to do. Let me move the ball back a little bit here. So when you come out, first thing you want to do is look at your play art, right? To do that, you press the right trigger. Um, you know, if you're on PlayStation, it's obviously the same thing, right trigger or R2. But so when you do that, you're always looking for the guy with an R over him on the defense. As you can see here, standing out clearly is the left defensive end there with the R over him. They're always watching that guy. So identify the R. That's the cool thing about Madden. They are going to put the R for the read man over the, 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 the defender that properly is going to be. So in this case, it's that defensive end. Sometimes it's going to be an outside linebacker. Sometimes it can be even be a, a, a nickelback or a safety that comes down to the box. So just be aware it can be a different guy every time. As you'll probably see in this video, we're going to be doing it versus random defenses. So... There's going to be a different guy with the R over him a majority of the time. But here, it's that left defensive end. And I like this version because this is a clean look here, right? So we're just watching that guy. So now, you see on this play, Mark Andrews is going to be kind of the pulling blocker to the left. So he's usually going to try to cut that guy if he if he crashes in. If not, um, so one of the offensive line will pick him up. But what you're looking for once you hike the ball is if that defensive end with the R over him, if he stands up or even kind of goes back a little bit, automatically you know hand the ball off hand the ball off to your running back to do that you hold down the a button if you're on playstation you would hold down the x button um 
that's what you're doing if he stands up or if he stays back, right? You're automatically handing it off, turns it into a nice little inside zone right up the middle. You can get some good yards off of it. If you see him immediately, when you hike it, crash down, run towards the backfield, that's when you know, okay, he's crashing at the running back. I'm going to keep it with my quarterback, and I'm going to head to the outside. So it's literally a simple read. It's a, it's, you're looking for two different things. One, does he, does he stay back? Does he stand up? Boom, I know that. I see that. I hand it off immediately. That's all you have to do. Don't even think about it. Then, if you see him crash down uh, immediately, that's when you know, okay, I'm keeping it with my quarterback. I'm getting to the outside. Of course, you want a quarterback with good speed, a guy that can get to that outside. That's why I love using Lamar because he also has that fast break ability. He has He's the fastest quarterback in the game by far. So he's going to be able to get to that edge with speed. He's usually going to be able to outrun a defensive end. Um, of course, there's, you know, there's <laughs> sometimes you can get a guy like Miles Garrett or some of these faster guys, and if you don't have it on Lamar, it can be difficult. But majority of the time, your quarterback, with the, if he's a, an elite scrambler or elite runner, is going to be able to get to the outside. So that's all you're looking for. Let's go ahead and run it here. We'll kind of run it, go through the replay, and then we'll run it uh, a couple different other versions as well just to kind of give you guys a feel for it. But you're always looking for that guy with the R over him. Two-man game. Does he stand up? Okay, hand it off. Does he crash? Boom, take with the quarterback. So let's go ahead and take a look. There he crashes. What do I do? Take it off with Lamar. And I wasn't able to get it. I kind of got a delayed start right there, uh, which was kind of unfortunate. But you saw what we did there exactly. Let me go ahead and take a look at the replay just so you can see. We're not worried about the outcome of the play right now, right? We're worried about we're making the right read. So we're just watching this guy here. You see? What does he do? He's crashing immediately. Right as I hike it, and I'll zoom back a little bit here. As you see, as soon as I hike it, boom, I hiked it. What do I see? He's crashing down. He's not standing up. A lot of times he would just stand up right there. And then we didn't know to hand it off. But if you see him crashing down at the running back like that, that's when I know, okay, now i got to let let the play uh, go through, come to the outside with Lamar. I kind of got a little delayed start right there. Whoever this is did not hold his block good at all. I believe that is that Duvernay. Yeah, he did not hold his block at all, and that's kind of screwing us here. But if he was able to hold that block, look at all the space we have out here. Hollywood Brown does a great job holding his block. So if we would have held this block, we get to the outside with tons of space there. So to repeat, though, so just because I want to, you know, kind of, bashing into you guys' heads, that's all you're looking for is watching this defensive end. If he crashes, I know I, I keep it with my quarterback. If he stands up, I hand it off. And obviously he crashed down at the running back. We're going to be able to take it off to the outside with Lamar. So let's go ahead and do that. This play one more time, then we'll kind of break down another read option. So same thing, though, defensive end on the left there. This time he stands up, and I hand it off to the running back for the inside zone. So let's go let's do the replay for that one just so you guys can see. And I know the outcomes of these have not been great. But we're just kind of worried about what we're making the right read. Once you make the right read and you get it down, that's when you can worry about the stuff after that. But see how immediately he stands up. I hike it right now. Boom, I see him stand. He's not crashing. He's just staying put, standing up. He's ready, ready to defend the quarterback to get to the outside. So when I, as soon as I see that, I know, boom, okay, I hold, I hold the A button or hold X if you're on PlayStation, hand the ball off to my running back up the middle. And another horrible job of blocking, though, up the, up the middle here. Huh? I mean, geez, dude. Our tackle couldn't get out there to C.J. Mosley, so that was actually a good play by Mosley up the middle there, but we made the right read. So I'll go ahead and do this version one more time, see if we can get some type of decent play out of it. This time he crashes, and now I'm able to take off with Lamar. I pick up about eight yards, pick up about eight yards there, so a decent type of play finally on that situation. So let's go ahead and pick a few more read options, just try to run through them, um, and then we'll kind of get into the next uh, type of option. But let's go ahead and look. we'll take a look at the full house version now. This one should be good because we have extra blockers here. Now we have two guys coming out of the backfield to be able to uh, make the block. And the thing I like about this is you can actually flip the play as well. So if I press X and right trigger, or if you're on PlayStation Square and right trigger, um, you're going to be able to flip it, and, you, and it, no one even moves at all. There's no motion or anything at all. So that's what I love about this one. So I'm going to go ahead. So I flipped it here to the right, but I'm going to go ahead and flip it back to the left. And you'll see here, we're just looking at that defensive end with the R over him. So once again, if he stands up, I hand it off. If he crashes down, I'm taking off with the quarterback. This time he crashes, I'm taking off with my quarterback, Lamar. And this time, looks like we have a huge gain. We're going to take this one to the house. So, I mean, it's just simple like that. Get yourself an athlete at quarterback. Let's go ahead and take a look at the replay of that really quickly. Because this one was absolute money. You see there, what does he do? He's crashing down immediately. We're just watching that defensive end here, if I can get onto him. Boom, I hike it, he's crashing, he's running. I'm keeping my quarterback, I know immediately. My running back actually picks him up. We had a great job here by uh, Ricard out of the backfield. He did a good job to pick up Mosley there in the middle. And then we have our tight end, who was also in the backfield, if you remember, sees in the backfield. He comes all the way up to block that safety all the way in the secondary, allowing us, once we get to that outside with our speed, follow the blocks, cut up the middle, 
and we are off to the his house. So easy, easy thing here this time. I'm going to go ahead and flip it. Obviously, read the numbers in the box. This is kind of a balanced look, so it doesn't matter. But if you if there's numbers to the left or right, we can flip it. This time, I'm going to go to the right here. This time, he crashes again. I'm going to be able to take it to the outside. Lamar, with all his speed, picks up a nice big play. Of course, don't take a hit as well. Get out of bounds. Slide down with your quarterback if needed. Um, this time is when I would run it to the left. You see there, we have the, the nickel back is over on the right side. So they have more numbers on the right side. So, of course, we want to run this to the left. We're just reading the box, reading the defense, right? So we're going to keep it to the left here. Same thing, reading that defensive end there on the left. If he stands up, I hand it off. If he crashes, I keep with the quarterback. Let's go ahead and do it. This time he crashes again. So they're crashing a lot here. And I'm able to kind of pick up another big play with Lamar getting to that outside. So it's an easy, easy read. Just watching that guy with the R over his head. All right, now let's take a look at the triple option. The triple option is very interesting in Madden. It's, it's a lot of fun to run, but it can be kind of, it can be scary if you don't do it properly here, right? So same thing once again, reading the guy with the R over his head. That's the first thing. Because so on this one, if they stand up or run back a little bit, we're immediately handing it off to our fullback. So, of course, I have Ricard there. I didn't sub in a faster guy. If you're in a serious game, you know, sub in the backup running back, another guy with speed in that fullback spot so that you can get some good yardage up the middle if you do hand it off. So that's the first case. If they stand up, we hand to the fullback. If they crash down immediately, then it becomes a little bit more interesting. It's kind of like an RPO, which we'll get to as well. But when they crash down, now you either take it with your well, you take it with your quarterback to start, and then you have to decide, okay, do I want to pitch to Dobbins or do I want to just keep it with Lamar and take what the defense gives me? So that's kind of this kind of an added element to this triple option. Um, it's not just a simple one man read because it's once you make that read, then you have to make another one. So it's kind of a two read here thing, um, an extra element, like I said. But let's go ahead and try to run it here. Remember, if he stands up, we immediately hand it off to the running back. If he crashes, that's when it becomes a little more challenging. We have to make the right decision. So let's go ahead and do it. This time he crashes down. Now, what do I do? Do I hand it or do I keep it with Lamar? This time I'm just going to keep it with Lamar, give with the, uh, take what the defense gives me. So you can do either option. Of course, to pitch it to that running back, you would press LB or L1 on PlayStation. So that's all you got to do. So let's go ahead and do it a few times here. This time he crashes. Ah, oh, I, I meant to hold down A. So that is the, exactly the wrong thing that I just did. I got a little overwhelmed right there. This will happen the first few times you do it. So any of you beginners out there learning the option, learning the triple option, you can get overwhelmed at start to start. That's why practice mode can be essential. So you see here, he immediately stood up. I was trying to press uh, hold A to hand it off, and I just got a little bit too flustered there. So that was the right call was to hold it to A. I would have been able to get to the outside maybe, uh, pass the left guard there to get a big play. Instead, I did the wrong decision, and when you make the wrong decision, this is exactly what will happen to you. And this could even be a fumble, so you need to be very careful. I got just absolutely nailed in the backfield. I could have maybe pitched it if I had to if set for a second. Because you see there, he's kind of open. I can just pitch it. But it's a risky proposition there because if, if you try to pitch it, it could be a fumble. So you need to be careful in these situations. That's why I made the wrong play call right there. I made the wrong decision. Um, and that's what that's what happened there. So this time, let's try to do the right decision. This time we hand it off. You saw the, the defensive end stood up. Hand it off. Easy, about three, four yards. And I have a slow fullback in that spot. This time, same thing. He stands up. The tight end kind of gave him a little chip block there. So we were able to hand it off, Keep it, make it like an inside zone, right? I'm going to go ahead and actually flip it this time because I want to get that read, man. So you see there we have R on the defensive end. What do we do? This time we can keep it. And this time I'm going to go ahead and pitch it. So you saw there we had that space to the outside. So my tight end is actually doing a good job to pick up that read, man, which makes it a little bit more interesting. Um, when you see something like that, that's when you can either you can really do either one. When you see they're kind of double teaming that edge uh, read man, that's when it becomes interesting, and that's kind of when it becomes nice because you can do whatever you want. I could hand it off if I wanted to, um, keep, keep it like a nice simple inside zone, or I can keep it, which I did here. And as you see, as when, once I keep it, I'm kind of looking at this linebacker right after I kind of after I keep it. I'm seeing him. I know he's going to come after me in a second. So I could have just kept it with Lamar, picked up about four yards. But I, this time I wanted to pitch it. You see there I have the wide open angle to pitch it to Dobbins on the outside. That's what I do. And we're able to pick up about, you know, seven to ten yards here. Um, so that's what makes this play so difficult to stop. All right, now let's take a look at the power option. So this one's kind of similar to a speed option, um, relatively the same. And for this one, there's no, not going to be any handoff situation. So you're never going to be able to hold a hand it off to a fullback or a running back. This is simply, it's going to the outside. 
and it's about making the correct pitch or keeping the quarterback. And you see now, instead of the R over the defensive end, you'll see here on the outside defensive end there over there, that is it's actually going to be a P over him because that is the the pitch man read. So instead of the read man, it is the pitch man. So that's this is the situation where we're kind of watching him, and this one's more of a feel thing. But if he kind of stands up, stays at the quarterback angle, we're going to be able to pitch it. So you, this one's you got to kind of just run a few times, get a feel for it, and read that guy to the outside. So now he'll get picked up. You have to read the, the guy behind him towards the outside. So let's just go ahead and run, run it a few times, get a feel for it. And you'll see here, this time I pitched it. It was a little bit late with the pitch, so it can be a little bit more tougher here. This one's something you definitely need to practice. Um, we'll go ahead and take a look at the replay here. Kind of pitched it a little bit too late. So you'll see here the defensive end. He actually plays it pretty good here. I, it was kind of confusing. So he comes at me. We also have this guy going towards the fullback. But the right decision was to pitch it. I was just about a, two seconds too late. I need to read that a little bit earlier and recognize that he crashed at me. And then and pitch it about. So I hike it. I need to pitch it about now. Right? I need to pitch it now to get to the back, to the running back. And I waited you know, a couple of seconds too long here. And then I able to pitch it. That could have been a fumble. So that's very scary. You definitely want to be careful in that situation. Let's go ahead and run it again here. And this time I did the wrong thing again. See, this one's a little bit more tougher here because that defensive end is a little bit more difficult to read than on like a read option. This time I pitch it early. This time it's, it kind of turns into like a toss play to the outside. So you do want to be relatively early with your pitch call. Let's go ahead and do it again here. Pitch it a little bit early and I couldn't hold the block from my fullback. So uh, to me, the, the success rate of these power options is not as good here in Madden 22 as it would be for like a speed option this time same thing I pitched it a little bit early this time we finally able to get a decent gain out of it we held the blocks to the outside so if you can master this 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 specific power option it can be good a nice little mix in I would never build an offense around this I think you could build an offense around the read option because it's that effective but the power option something that I um, don't recommend building an offense around, but as you can see here, if you mix it in, you can get some nice chunk plays out of this, especially if you have some speed guys that can get to the outside. All right, now let's take a look at the shovel option. The shovel option is really interesting. I like a couple of years ago in Madden, I really liked the shovel option. I haven't ran it as much lately. Um, so for this one, there's going to be no handoff, but instead of just uh, having one pitch man, you have two pitch man now. You need to make the right read with that one. So once again, we're reading that defensive end with the P over him, the pitch man. And if you see him kind of crash towards the outside, like say he runs towards Ricard a little bit to the outside, right? That's when you know you want to pitch it to the inside to Dobbins. So there's going to be two different buttons. I believe LB is to pitch it to the inside. RB is to pitch it to the outside. I kind of forget, honestly. So we're going to have to run it a few times here to, to kind of get it down. But if you see the P man run towards the outside immediately, you can just pitch it to the inside to Dobbins, right? If you see... The P-man, the pitch man, run down towards the quarterback or, the, or Dobbins, then I know I can get it to the outside to Ricard in, uh, you know, out on the angle. Um, and, of course, like I said with the, with the previous triple option stuff, get, some guy, get a guy with speed. Don't have Ricard there for this. Um, have him more there for the read options when you need that blocking. But when you run these shovels or triple options, make sure you have another guy with speed uh, out of the backfield. So let's go ahead and kind of – I kind of forget, honestly, how to do this. So let's run it a few times, get a feel for it, and I can break it down a little bit more. So you see here – there was two different icons. Let me go ahead and take a look at the replay. So there's two different icons. The inside guy is LB. The outside guy is RB, right? So Dobbins here is LB. If you're on PlayStation, of course, that's L1. And Ricard here is RB. If you're on PlayStation, of course, that's R1. So I'm immediately looking here at this guy at the defensive end. What does he do? He's taking the outside angle. You see him there. He stands up. So if I keep him my quarterback, I'm screwed here. I have no option at all. I'm going to just get a tackle in the backfield. Now, I could maybe pitch it to Ricard, but he has a decent angle here on Ricard as well. So he kind of can make a play on that immediately. We, of course, Ricard doesn't have the most speed, so he can make a play on him. He can maybe even swat that ball down if I pitch it out to Ricard. So the proper play here is to pitch it to the inside as we have that pulling blocker. We have our inside guys already blocking. We pitch it to that inside guy. Um, probably a little bit sooner would have been ideal, and it kind of turns into like a little inside zone pitch. And then they did a great job to block shit and kind of blow that up. But that was the proper decision. We just couldn't make a big play out of it. So let's go ahead and run it a few times. So remember, we're looking for that outside man. It's either LB to the inside, RB to the outside. This time here, we're going to pitch it to the outside. And see, Ricard just has no speed at all. So he kind of made a good angle again. This time was right at my quarterback. So it was a tough decision there. 
it's time either staying to the outside i'm pitching the inside and they really stacked the box of that situation so that was kind of a no no win right there at all um let's go ahead and do it again here this time same thing they're staying to the outside but and then the other thing too is if you do pitch it inside and say dobbins drops it they actually count it as a incomplete pass so you don't risk the fumble chance at all for the inside pass. If you if you do to the outside, it's behind the line, so it can be a fumble. To the inside, they just count it as an incomplete pass. This time, we have the wide open outside. That was as easy call as you can get. They stack the box. They crash down. We pitch it to the outside to Ricard for a huge play. Once again here, this time, I kind of had either one, and Ricard is just so slow out there. But that was kind of a, a tough one, but I had the inside or the outside. We'll do it one last time here. This time, they're going to the outside. I pass it to the inside. We get a nice little eight-yard gain there with Dobbins up the middle. So it's just about reading that outside man. If he goes to the outside, pitch it inside. If he crashes down, go to the outside and, and toss it out to your fullback. Now let's take a look at the power read, or sometimes it's called the inverted veer, depending on the playbook you are in. Um, there's a, and there's a lot of different variations of all of these uh, read options, whether it be the read option, the power option, the veer, um, the, the shovel, the triple. There's all variations of these. So they kind of these things all apply to different ones. But let's take a look at the power read, inverted veer, whatever you want to call it. Same thing we'll call random defenses. Now this this one is a little more challenging as well. You want to read that outside defender here. Of course, this play is going to the left side of the field. So we're reading that outside defender on the left, the defensive end. He has the R over him again. So once again, if he stands up and crashes, you want to hand it off. If you if you see or if he stands up and drops back, you want to hand it off immediately. If he crashes down, that's when we're gonna kind of wait. And, and get to the outside with our quarterback. So let me run this a few times, get a feel for it, and then we'll kind of break it down here. So you see there, I'm tr I'm thinking though maybe for this it is the opposite. If he crashes down, we hand it off, and if he stands up, we take with our quarterback. See, this one is a little bit more confusing for me. I need to run this a few times just to kind of get a feel for it. So let's see there. He crashes down. So I, I think you want to hand it off. When he crashes down. So this one's like the complete opposite of the actual read option. Right, so if he stands up, we keep it. If he crashes, we hand it off. Here we go. He, he crashes, we hand it off. Right up the middle, we have a nice little spin move. So the blocking hasn't been great, but we finally figured out what we need to do the proper decision. If he crashes down, we hand it off. If he stands up, we keep. Let's go ahead and do it again here. This time, he crashed, and I did not hand it off. So I'm, I'm making the wrong decision here. It's confusing me. I'm not going to lie. This one is really confusing. He stands up. I keep it. Let Lamar up the middle. I'm getting, it's kind of tough right here. I'm not getting the blocking I want. As you can see, this one is way more difficult than the other ones. This is something you definitely need to work on as I need to work on it as well here. He stands up. I keep it. But they're just stacking the box now against this. They're ready for it. Do it one last time here and then we'll kind of call it quits on this one. And we'll get into the speed option. So he stands up. I keep it with Lamar. This time I'm able to get a big, a decent play out of it. Tripped up in the backfield. So I, I would recommend to having conservative on your quarterback uh, if you're going to run this as well. He stands up. I keep it Lamar. Get it up the middle. This time I have a big play out of it. So we kind of got a feel for it here. If he stands up. So remember, for the read option, this is the complete opposite. For the read option, if he stands up, we're handing it off. For the, for the veer or the power read, if he stands up, we're keeping with our quarterback. So this is something that can be a little bit more confusing. It's kind of something you definitely want to practice. Just remember, it's the complete opposite rules of the original read option. All right, and finally, guys, let's take a look at the speed option. And this one is really similar to the power option, so I don't need to get into this one too much. Um, it, it's just it's just, just like this, the, uh, the, the power option. The thing with this one that I like is cool, and this is in the Chiefs playbook here because the, the only speed option I could find was in the Chiefs playbook. You actually flick it to the left or right, um, depending on which side you want to run it. So this time I'm going to run it to the left. And just reading that pitch man again, just like we talked about in the power option. Just reading that pitch man once again here. This time you see him crash down at the quarterback. I'm pitching it to the outside to Dobbins. I actually get a really big play out of that one. So that's all it is again. You're reading that pitch man. If he crashes down, um, you pitch it. If he stays put, you keep it with the quarterback. So let's go ahead and do it again here. This time he stays up right at the quarterback. I'm going to be able to pitch it, follow my blocks get a big play out of it so same thing as the power option pretty much you don't need to make too many adjustments but the one i like about the speed option is you can flick it left or right make sure you have a speedy quarterback and running back in the backfield all right and before we finish this video i just wanted to go over the rpo a little bit for you guys just because i do love rpos this year and they're, they're relatively similar obviously to a read option um 
And I love the RPO bubbles, right? So for this, it's the same thing as a regular read option. You're reading that arm man on the outside. If he stands up, you hand it off. If he crashes, you keep with the quarterback or you pass it out to the bubble. And with the bubble, I'm looking for is do I have the numbers out there for the blocking? That's all I care about if I want to throw the bubble. And in this scenario, I think I do have the numbers. As you can see there, we have those two blockers, of course, with Hollywood Brown. And there's only really two defenders out there. The safety's a little bit back. I think I can get this bubble out there and get a nice little game with some blocking. So that's what I'm looking for first. If I see that, I'm not even worried about the read option thing, right? I'm just going to throw the bubble. That's exactly what I'm going to do here. I think I have the numbers. I'm going to get it out there. You see the blocking holds. And then it becomes a one-on-one -on -one situation. And if I have Hollywood Brown, I'll take that all day long, one-on-one. -on -one. So that's what I'm looking for with that. This time now, they ha I don't have the numbers. You see that they're lined up appropriately. Um, they have three defenders and the safety out there. So for this... I'm doing the read option angle. I'm watching that defensive end, and I'm going to play that game. I'm not going to worry about the bubble as much. So let's go ahead and run it here. This time you see them crash down. I'm going to take it with Lamar, and I'm going to pick up an easy six yards. So there's three elements to this play. It's either the read option game or the bubble out there. This time, again, they're aligned pretty good. I'm going to worry about the read option. He crashes again. I'm going to keep it with Lamar, get to the outside, pick up a big play this time. You see all that speed showcase there from Lamar so that's all I'm really worried about in this I'm you just it's about reading the defense in Madden right guys this time they're really bringing down the box so if you see something like this I would literally audible out of this and get to one of your deeper plays because they have safeties in the box um and, you know and, and they're going to be blitzing and you can just get an easy gain out here out of the passing man-to-man -man coverage so that's what I would do in that situation just to kind of break it down you're always looking at the defense seeing what the defense is doing one more time here this time they're line decent I'm going to run the read option this time they crash once again, and I can take it out with Lamar, get another big play. So just reading those two things, the numbers in the box, the numbers out in the secondary, and then the, the, the defensive end there with the R over him. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We basically break down, broke down every single read option, every single option, I should say, uh, in Madden 22. Please like this video. Comment down below you guys' favorite option. What's been your favorite so far here in Madden 22? Let me know how you, if you guys try these out. Let me know how it goes. Let me know in the comments, of course. Please subscribe to the channel here. This has been How to Master the Read Option in Madden 22. I appreciate you guys so much, man. Until next time, T. Davis is out.